Hey everyone, Luke here, dietitian from Active Health Clinic. We're nearing the end of Gastroparesis Awareness Month, so I thought I'd share this little video on the most common treatment or medical nutrition therapy that we use for gastroparesis, and that is small and frequent meals. Now, you would have heard of this, I am most certain, uh, in many other spaces, in many other placements, as a a uh, dietary technique that you can use to help with getting more food in when generally we're feeling under the weather. Um, so it might be simply after a bout of, of gastro um, or in a time where you're feeling particularly fatigued. Small and frequent meals is used in a lot of ways uh, to help us get the energy from food that we need in when we're finding it particularly difficult to do so for whatever reason. The gut just seems to be able to deal with these smaller meals better uh, in times of distress, and it's no different with gastroparesis. The main reason why uh, this is so effective is simply because our stomach moves our food through it as we as we eat. Um, that digestion process happens in real time. It's not like we put the load of food in and then after we've finished it gets on its bike and, and does the journey for us. It actually happens in real time. So the best thing that we can do when we have a slow or slower motility or transit time through the gut is actually eat little bits of food more often. Now that's pretty easy to say, but how do we actually go about doing this? What's the best way to put small and frequent meals into place? Well, the... Best way to do it is actually to split your three or perhaps four main meals, if that's what you have at the moment, up into between six and ten meals. Now, that might be halving your current portion or your pre-slow motility portion uh, of your meal and then breaking it up so you're eating every one and a half to two hours instead of three to four hours. Um, or it might be more like having six to ten snacks throughout the day and it may be snack food especially if we're living with an invisible illness such as a fatigue syndrome where having the energy to get up and cook six smaller meals in the day or up to ten smaller meals in the day just isn't uh, feasible within our capacity now the best way that we can help ourselves do this is to pre-prepare pre-plan so whether we whether that's cooking in bulk and portioning things out at a set time um, within our our schedule within our capacity uh, or whether that's literally having a box of snacks things that are non-perishable next to wherever we spend most time in our day or multiple of these boxes in the places that we might uh, might spend most of our day if there's more than one place and allowing ourselves to eat as we as we feel comfortable and nibble or graze over the day um, that's another way that we can achieve the energy needs of our body uh, when we live with gastroparesis through this small and frequent meals idea so I hope that's been helpful as a little bit of a descriptor for small and frequent meals. As usual, if you have any questions about how you might be able to put this in better um, or have any individual circumstances that you feel might need a little bit of adjustment off these principles from today's video, please feel free to get in touch and uh, Mel and myself would be more than happy to speak to you. As usual, have a great Friday and happy eating.